quirky, mm -hmm. it's because your character has a, a, a kind of a quirky uh, nature to it. You're kind of quirky. And, the, and I think I, I, the, the band's identity has a lot to do with your vocals, mm -hmm. as well as the way that the music is, is constructed. And there's an interchange. There's like a there's there's two very uh, distinct characters in the band. There's the guitar character and there's the vocal character, and there's an interplay between the two, which I think is very unique. What genre would you put the genre? Hard rock. Hard rock. Mm -hmm. But it's a unique sound. It's well, yeah. I mean. To me, the music is reminiscent of a lot of the stuff that we loved in the late 70s and early 80s on all the best rock bands, except in this case you have a female front person. There wasn't that many bands doing that. There was Pat Benatar and probably not a lot of others doing rock with a female singer. So, and, you know, uh, it's not the big Pat Benatar style vocals. They're, they're quirkier, you know, there's a lot more character in the verses and stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I related to like uh, early punk with uh, with early new wave too, like a, a Missing Persons mm -hmm. or um, early, uh, what am I thinking of? But like, yeah, like an early punk kind of vocal. I can hear that. Yeah. Well, what was the, I was listening to uh, some garbage, which I thought was a good, a good reference, but not necessarily a, a, a good comparison, because I think the Lucky Lou sound is, is something new and, and uh, unique, definitely. You could put it on a playlist with Green Day, you could put it on a, what, what else would you have on that playlist? Sex Pistols? Hmm. Possibly, yeah. yeah. Could go with a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's pretty mainstream. Yeah. And that's what I like about yeah. it. Yeah. It's not trying. Beatles, even. I think you could put it on a mainstream, or on a, a playlist with Beatles, too. Well, for me, it was the vocals, because I was doing vocals with uh, Catherine all month. Well, not all month. I guess in the last two weeks, just really concentrating on vocals. And Rich was concentrating on guitars for the last right. two weeks straight. Um, so uh, I think that was uh, the what all, Elliot, my perspective was uh, a really good experience in the studio with Catherine doing vocals, and it was uh, um, being creative as well as just uh, getting good performances. And um, I really enjoy watching her perform. Even though she had the lights down in the booth, I could see her doing, she's like dancing and she's like expressive. You know, like you would only want your singer to be so expressive because it's hard to get a singer in the studio to get pumped up, right. but not a problem with the singer. <laughs> And uh, it shows in the performances that we recorded too, because I, I think that uh, you can really um, hear um, expression and smiling and uh, uh, and joyfulness and uh, and a, a bit of uh, sassiness. You know, you can really hear that. She's not reading. She's this is these are words that are coming right out of her her head. It's really good. The joy of producing is is listening to what the artist brings and then helping them flesh it out and, you know figuring out the best way to record it to make it sound the way they want um, there's times when we had to write something new on the spot so having Howard play a part or just try something and then I'm listening and going oh that's good and that's good and then like helping connect the dots and you know the, that's what we live for so I have some moments. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite moment on this record was probably hearing the big Tom hits on <laughs> yeah. the front of number three, uh -huh. and how uh, how number three just came together with the main guitar theme on number three. Well, there was the the there was several moments in number three, right? There was the toms, 
there was the, the guitar theme, and then there was putting together the vocals and having everything just come together because we were kind of like, we, we were like, oh, well, when we get around to number three, well, we're going to write a whole new chorus, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and then the day came, and it's like, okay, time today to <laughs> we're going to be doing this, and what's going to happen? We didn't know, and it just came together, and, it, and then, and, but, and there's still a day yet when the mix comes up on the desk and all these elements that I've heard individually are, are still yet to, to meet. To come together. And uh, that's going to be a special day because that song is, is plus, really great. Plus the, the figuring out of the bridge in that song. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was another yeah, moment. That was another struggle, but when we got it, it you know, Katrina said she got chills, so then you know you're doing something good. Yep. I have another favorite. It was not very long ago when you guys were listening to the first mix and Howard had a pad of paper ready to write down notes and at the end of the song the paper was blank. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Riot. I love that song. And it's because of the, uh, the way the vocals were just spit out. And, uh, and they don't really, uh, the, the rhythm, there's not a, an exact rhythm to it, right. and it, they just kind of fall out, yep. and, and there's kind of spitting and biting and, and barking uh, on the vocals, and, it, and um, I, I just love the way that they came out. And the, vo and the chorus, too, it has a kind of a mumbly, rambly kind of thing that I've never it heard in another... It tumbles over the beat. It tumbles, yeah, right? Yeah, it's really cool. But it really works. And uh, there was another moment, uh, actually last night, when we put the finishing touches on that song, and we're like, well, what are we going to do? Let's try this. Ah, that doesn't work so much. Let's try this. Oh my God, this really works. Can we try this too? Oh my God, what just happened? Magic is happening. So now uh, this this really fun song just became, just it just turned into something entirely new and wonderful. And I know it's not a single, but it, it is, I think it's my favorite song. Well, still today. Who knows what my Even favorite song will be. Control. Wow. Control too. Yeah. Control. See, every every song has a moment like that, though. Yeah, um, every mean, song has a, a wow moment, which yeah. is really important. And so. that's why I'm so excited about this record because every song has a wow moment. It's really strong. It's, it's really strong. Yeah. There's, uh, there's no weaklings. No weaklings at all. Yeah. Yes. Well, I have to say personally that I appreciate you uh, uh, believing in us uh, enough to hop on a plane and come over here it's like a blind date you never yeah. know what you're going to get into and you and we never know like well are, are they bringing songs you know have you heard all these songs right. you know maybe are we going to be able to make these songs really good you know we never know you know but this i think this was a, a great match it was and uh and i think it came out really good she made you heavy. and i hope this album gets heard by everybody because it it's a very exciting and you guys are a pleasure and a pleasure to work with. So yes, it was all you. fun for me. Yeah, let's do it. Except for that drummer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, we love all of you. Thanks for coming.